I'm Katie Kittermaster, and you're in bed with Katie Kittermaster. Um, this is my guitarist, Ben Steele, who's going to be playing for me in the performances and answer, uh, asking me some questions. Let's go. Okay. First question, what happened last night? What happened last night? There's a pandemic going on, people, if you didn't know. So I was at home, I was in bed, probably by about nine o'clock. Um, I put a few pounds on some golfers in the Masters, so we watched that for a little bit, and uh, yeah, you know, I'm really thriving out here, living my best life. Uh, yeah, next question. Next question. What's the longest you spent in your nightwear during Corona so far? I, I honestly feel like it's probably too grotty to even mention. Three days? <laughs> probably longer, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I mean, at the be in the like lockdown season one, I decided to do, season this, one. <laughs> <laughs> to do this like COVID cover challenge where I did a cover every day, which kind of meant that I had to get up and get dressed and shower. Um, so that was really good in terms of that. And also, you know, giving the fans what they want, making the content. So yeah. Okay. As an artist, you're used to being on the road a lot. Mm. Does it feel good to sleep at home all the time now due to Corona or are you getting bored of it? I do miss it. I'm not, do you? Yeah, I do. <sighs> it's very much all go. Like it's just go, go, go all the time. Yeah. It's a completely different life. I don't really miss the premiere in breakfast every day and like, you know, having to have a kebab shop takeaway for dinner and like, I don't, know, I don't really like some good food. Yeah, in there. It, it was a little bit for food. I for spent a thousand pounds on Deliveroo. Who does that? Next question. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's nice to be home. It's nice to be home. I mean, you get a roast dinner and you get your washing done, and you know the dogs and stuff are here. So yeah, I do so miss it though. Fun. Overall, I think I'm really excited for life to go back to normal. Do you write songs in bed? I do. Yeah, I feel like I actually wrote Origami Butterfly right where you're sitting that's so cute yeah um yeah i do especially now that we're doing a lot of sessions on zoom like i can just do it from my bed and that's great but i don't know if it's the most productive place to write but i guess it's where you're most com like comfortable so maybe then you're really relaxed with writing especially if it's with new people on zoom so yeah i guess it's the short answer nice socks or no socks in bed if you wear socks in bed, I'm sorry, you're actually psychopathic. <laughs> Who does that? Do you do that? I don't know, maybe it's actually, cold. Please say don't do that, that'd be kind of awkward. No, definitely it's a no for me. Not getting involved. Okay, what's the most annoying song to be woken up by? Oh, probably like Skrillex or something really intense. I'd just be like, it's way too early for this. Festival morning vibes. Yeah, true. That's the only time it's acceptable is if you're at a camping festival. But even then, it's just not ideal, is it? You need to give yourself a few minutes to... Somehow you know. people start at like 10 in the morning. Mm -mm. I don't know. It's not for me. Okay, are you for or against breakfast in bed and why? Uh, yes, please. Can that is a treat. That? that is a treat that I rarely actually get to experience, but would love. Not gonna lie, you wouldn't. Fair enough. I guess you don't want crumbs in the bed. It actually is a, like the idea of it is really nice, but then you have like bits of toast and orange juice kind of like in your bed, and it's a bit like no. That's worse than socks in bed. Crumbs in yeah, the bed. Yeah, it definitely is. 100%. Actually, so I would actually say I'm against breakfast in bed, maybe. What creepy stories did you get to hear as a kid when you wouldn't want to go to sleep? I mean, I feel like it's pretty like anti-productive. Is that a word? Unproductive. Unproductive. To tell kids creepy stories when they're trying to go to sleep, if they can't go to sleep. Oh, this this will send you to sleep. No, it won't. Uh, I do remember though a story from when I was younger about someone who had a dog, and every time they went to sleep, the dog would lick their hand. Like, on, the dog would sleep like next to the bed or under the bed. Oh no! I and then one day they woke up and went to the loo in the middle of the night, and like written. There was something like, I've missed out a big part of the story, I can't really remember. They woke up in the middle of the night and they went to the bathroom and on the mirror, 
was like something written in the dog's blood, basically telling them that the dog was dead. Yet yeah, someone had licked their hand, and that basically meant the killer was under their bed. I don't know if that makes any sense. I've told, I've, I've actually ruined that story. I'm falling asleep tonight. Yeah, terrifying stuff. Who would you invite to a sleepover slash pajama party? Ooh, it depends if it's like a an adult sleepover. <laughs> no, let's say it's like a girly girly sleepover. I think the Kardashians would just be jokes. They just have, I don't know, that would just be really fun. Um, they have some stories definitely, to tell. Definitely, they'd have some stories. Maybe just some of, like, the female songwriters that I love, like Maze Peters, she can come. Holly Humperstone, you're invited. Taylor Swift, you're more than welcome. <laughs> Who else do I really like? Adele seems quite jokes, actually. Yeah. And, you know, especially if we had a big girly night where we all get a bit drunk and start, you know, getting emotional and singing. We've got all the tunes ready to go. What a collab that would be. Imagine. That would be insane. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a little light to fall asleep to when you were a kid? Embarrassingly, I still do. So I've got fairy lights, which I think are out of shot, which go all the way around, and I haven't turned them off in a long time. In 20 years. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> Did you write a song about that? Some, <laughs> yes, there's a song there yeah, somewhere. there is. Sleeping yeah. with the light on. Yeah. You know the stuff. Yeah, I know some of your Biggest songs. Fan right here. Some of your songs. <laughs> um, okay, if you could choose whomever you would like to perform a song in bed with you, who would that be and why? Harry Styles. Okay. I don't, I don't even feel like I need to explain it. Just Harry Styles. Fair enough. Okay, and which monster sleeps under your bed? Not the dog. Hopefully that none of them. <laughs> Hopefully no monsters are under my bed. It's <sighs> clear. Uh, yeah. Sorry, that's kind of a not very exciting answer. But hey, hope you enjoyed this. <laughs> um, I've been Katie Kittermaster, and this has been in bed with Katie Kittermaster. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Maybe I will get.